this is a very interesting story, and I want to start with the very simple idea of a prime minister who sets up a sovereign wealth fund. How did he come to be doing this? Because it's not the sort of thing we usually hear about prime ministers. If a prime minister is so heavily involved and is actually the chairman of the advisory board, then how much faith can we actually have uh, in this uh, investigation process? The journal says that they have seen, you know, direct uh, links sure. of seven hundred million dollars right. back right. to the prime minister's mm -hmm. own personal mm -hmm. bank accounts, mm -hmm. and that's not enough to get rid of UMNO um, and how it's going right now with Najib. Again, mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. scandal mm -hmm. involving the prime minister. Mm -hmm. We won't even talk about the first one, which mm -hmm. uh, related back to a female mm -hmm. death and you know submarine sales, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, that's right. That's right. Uh, are you saying to me that they are willing to tolerate this, even though it actually hurts their credibility and also threatens their one party? A shocking development and allegations for the first time directly linking the prime minister to the to the one MDB scandal. Now, the attorney general's office has confirmed it's seen documents related to the alleged transfer of funds. following allegations that Prime Minister Najib Razak received nearly $700 million in public funds. However, it did not reveal the identities of the account holders. Meanwhile, Malaysia's former leader, Mahathir Mohamed, has called on the Prime Minister Najib to show public proof that his assets are legal. Speaking to the BBC, Mr Mahathir accused the Prime Minister of having what he called a lavish lifestyle, which has been closely scrutinised in the local press. We asked the Prime Minister's office to respond to Mr Mahathir's comments on these allegations, but they declined. Well, the FBI has opened an investigation into allegations of money laundering related to the Malaysian state investment fund 1MDB. The scope of the investigation is not yet clear, but it is the latest in a series of international investigations related to the fund. 1MDB was set up by the Prime Minister Najib Razak in 2009 to help drive the economy. It is now having difficulty repaying more than $11 billion of debt, and he faces accusations of personally accumulating up to $700 million through the fund. Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak could be facing criminal charges over allegations that nearly 700 million U.S. dollars were channeled from state funds to his personal bank accounts. CCTV's Yang Zhao has the details. Five years after it was set up, One Malaysia Development Berhad, or 1MDB, has turned into a political and financial minefield, one that's threatening the Malaysian political establishment and the national economy. As investigations gather pace, the opposition continues to demand answers from the Prime Minister and the special task force itself is coming under scrutiny. Malaysia's 1MDB is under intense scrutiny as investigators look into the troubled state investment fund. The country's Prime Minister Najib Razak is trying to contain the fallout from the investigations linking him to 1MDB.